Hi there, I'm Dr. Sarah, staff veterinarian with Life's Abundance. And as part of our successful aging series, I'll be reviewing ways you can help maintain strength and mobility in elderly pets. In this episode of Pet Talk, we'll focus on nutrition, weight control, and the importance of strength training for preservation of healthy bones and muscles. It's never too early to start developing and maintaining strong muscles and healthy joints, both critical to strength and mobility in later life. Just like in humans, lifelong endurance training can help improve the oxidative capacity of skeletal muscle and metabolism in elderly pets. I can't stress this enough. Good nutrition is essential in order to maintain optimal health. Our four-legged seniors also have greater demands for vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Maintaining a proper weight should be one of your top priorities for your companion animal. Even if he or she is overweight, losing as little as 5% of overall weight can have a noticeable impact on mobility. In fact, studies have shown that weight loss alone resulted in a significant improvement in hind limb lameness in overweight dogs with joint challenges. Your pet is at an ideal weight when you can feel ribs but not see them. You can also ask your veterinarian for an ideal weight for your dog or cat. Controlling your dog's weight with a diet like Life's Abundance Weight Loss Formula and providing a joint health supplement like Agility Formula can play essential roles in helping to maintain strength and mobility of your senior pet. I've seen firsthand how strength training can counteract the effects of aging. But you shouldn't wait until your companion animal experiences weakness or loss of mobility to get started. Strengthening actually works as prevention as well as therapy. As Dr. Jane has said, muscle can be built in even the most debilitated pet, as long as they have at least some ability to control muscles and coordinate movement. Aged or debilitated pets usually have endurance limitations and issues like heart disease, pain, and hormonal disorders can complicate matters further. You need to get any unresolved pain problems under control before the first exercise. So consider consulting with a veterinarian trained in rehabilitation right away. Debilitated pets need to be closely monitored, not only for increased levels of pain, but also for signs of fatigue. Apart from walks and games, there are some simple exercises you can do at home to help maintain strength and flexibility. The first is the sit-stand. Basically, ask your dog to sit, and then by holding a small treat in front of her nose, entice her to stand. When she does, immediately give her the treat. Ask her to sit and repeat the exercise. Try to do at least 10 repetitions. Another good exercise is walking your dog slowly through the rungs of a ladder placed horizontally on the ground. This will hone foot placement abilities, which tend to wane in senior years. An easy flexibility exercise is neck stretches. Place a small treat in front of your dog's nose and slowly move the treat up, down in between her legs, from one side to the other, as far as is comfortable for her. A good exercise to increase core strength in your dog and balance is called the lift stand exercise. I like to call it Pilates for dogs. Basically, you ask your dog to stand, and then you lift one front leg. And as long as your dog is doing well, then you lift the opposite back leg and hold it for five to 10 seconds. All of these exercises work best if they are done twice daily with 10 repetitions. That being said, exercise programs must be tailored to the individual. If you notice your pet is stiff, weak, or worn out, then stop for the day. Please check first with your veterinarian before you attempt any of these exercises with companion animals who have debilities or if they are very old. More complex strengthening therapies require specific training to implement, especially for pets with disabilities. If your pet has chronic weakness or pain, a rehabilitation veterinarian is your best option to help ensure the highest quality of life. Rehabilitation procedures can include underwater or land-based treadmill exercises, passive range of motion and stretching movements, therapeutic ultrasound, acupuncture, massage, swimming, and more. The field of canine rehabilitation is growing rapidly and offers more options than ever to pet parents looking to provide the very best for their companion animals. To recap, start early to get the best results, feed premium nutrition, and commit to lifelong endurance and strength training, 
and you'll be giving your companion animal the best possible chance for aging successfully. Thanks so much for watching this special edition on Successful Aging, and I'll look forward to seeing you again next month with another episode of Pet Talk.